seriously, it's that off day again. Quite an interesting day of what's been going on so far. And there's just so much going on and right now my brain is kind of was kind of process a lot of things but at the same time it's I don't know <laughs> okay so first off it's please to say that uh, um, may as well my traveling back and forth to work may be a little bit interesting than expected uh, only because that uh, we had a situation yesterday where apparently uh, we had to get pulled over by the police. It wasn't anything bad, like I said from yesterday's vlog, it's just uh, the police had kind of pulled us over. They told us that what we thought would expire in February expired in December, that our insurance little sticker on that car had, uh, had expired. And that, uh, well, when Chris gave his license and stuff, apparently as well, that we forgot to update that 10 days after we, well, 10 days prior, you know, during when we moved into this place, like with immigrations, you know, we updated that, but we forgot to do his license that uh, we didn't have that. So they had suspended his license and had to suspend the car and just take, you know, we had to surrender the license plates and stuff for that. So we spent most of the day. Uh, go into the DMV and then go into the tow place and then driving the car back here. Uh, just getting that sorted and now uh, last time he has to do one or two more things just to pay the fine for that one. So that's fun. Uh, the other thing that they put down as well that is until further notice uh, there is a limit on what can be done with the car and such and when we out of, we were curious we asked him as well well listen I drive mainly well I don't drive but my husband drives back and forth from work and he drops me off at work and such would that be a problem straight away they shot that down and said no nope, uh, you won't be able to do that so I'm going around now I'm even starting to lift just to be on the safe side so I can sort out getting carpool back and forth from work until further noise. So we're sorting that out piece by piece, we'll see how it goes, I'll keep you posted on that one. Uh, also as well, today it was just like, after coming home we just want to relax, not, you know, we're both not feeling that great, we just want to relax, curl up, not really make talk or communicate with anyone, uh, even my parents because my parents were nagging, it's like, hey! Uh, can we can we talk? You know, is it a good time to talk? And my battery was dead even when we got to the DMV, so I couldn't really answer. And they was like constantly, "You have missed call. You have missed call." So uh, when I got home, I messaged him saying, "Listen, not a good time. We're not that great and stuff. We just we'll talk in the morning. We'll talk tomorrow." And then like half an hour ago, I had another message while I was curled up in bed that it's like, "Hey, you know, can we talk tomorrow?" And it's like, "Yeah, sure. We'll talk tomorrow. We're fine." Three seconds later, they call. But it was like they were concerned about me as well because apparently my dad heard from watching my vlogs that uh, apparently that I was going to be laid off in November. And that's news to me. If I was going to be laid off, you know, I think it, they would have told me about it first. But apparently he saw it on the recent vlog about work and laid off and stuff and I'm thinking seriously I was just making that as an example with the whole talk that I had where me and my mate were not friends anymore and the way that they finished off was to try and make it easy you know it's like the same way a boss would to an employee to, you know in that way of hey you know you've done a great job and stuff we feel as though you're not going to your best capabilities so we have to let you go when again I'm the type of person where it's like if you're gonna fire someone, just say it straight to their face, you know, Jamie, you're doing a fucking shit job, we have to let you go. So, just in case, I'm still working for that casino, I'm still working for that spa, 
All right, I'm not getting laid off anytime soon. If I was, I would have burnt those bridges long ago. <laughs> but, uh, no, I was just trying to sort that out and it's like, literally, when it's like, people trying to say, oh, hey, can we talk, can we talk, you know, are you gonna be doing this tonight, you know, are we talking, talking? I think I can agree, me, you know, Chris will agree with me when I say, in the way that we're feeling right now, I know that they care for us and they want to look out for us and such. The way that we feel today, it's like we just want time to relax. We just want time away so we can clear our heads, you know. The whole back and forth uh, constant. I, mean, I love my parents to bits, I love my family to bits. It's just today, you know, I just didn't want to be in that talk and stuff with them today and it's like could you please we'll talk tomorrow or something just don't take that as an invite to be as soon as I sent the message we'll talk tomorrow that it is boom I'll call you straight away please with respect you know I, mean, I love them to bits I love my parents to bits it's just today is not one of those days not the way that, I, that we're feeling you know we just want some time, we just want some time so we can just clear our heads and get our minds around us and try and plan out what the frick that we're going to do. Although the fun thing as well is that uh, looking at what the condition is so far until now we could sort Chris's license out and such again is that uh, we had to check very quickly on prices for tr either train and plane tickets to get to Boston for PAX East because there's a good chance that uh, we may not be taking the car up this time around and most probably be taking a train. <laughs> oh god. So just to clarify, I'm still working for the casino. Right now we're just looking at travelling situations. We're still looking to come into PAX East. It's just sorting out for, you know, the travel. Take a train or something, we'll be fine. Thirdly, uh, we just want time for peace. I'm just trying to get our heads around it, you know. We'll let you know when it's a good time to talk, it's just please. You know, for my family and stuff, I love you to bits, but it's that whole if I say we'll talk tomorrow, don't take it as an invite to be okay, I'll call now, boom, and then. I may as well clarify all that up. Plus as well I haven't had food all day, so may order something and get up the liberty. Awesome. My little cocoon husband is so cocoony. Uh -huh. uh, so I spent most of today well coming home and stuff, just relaxed and I did fall asleep on the bed once or twice. And we had food, which was nice. It's just I need to that rest because I didn't get any sleep at all last night and with what happened today, just kind of topped off that level of uh, dear god what the hell are we and it, it was not good. It, I didn't like it. That's fun. And now I need to pee and then I'm going to do some streaming. Well, not prop stream, but stream and stuff. So, new layouts, get stuff ready. Including just getting into a chat with Van der Forge and his channel. And see how they're doing. It's like coming up to two in the morning. I will be honest, uh, most of this day, not only has been sorting out stuff for the stream, what a stream next, just going through new alerts and stuff. It's basically being sh being curled up into a ball or basically staying in bed for most of the day and just trying to feel a little bit better because I felt like crap and that was kind of ridiculous thing I felt crap I was apologizing to Chris a lot because I felt like for most of the day that we were so I with a car with going down to the DMV and then over to the apartment lot just to pick up the car 
it just felt like I wasn't really contributing and I wasn't helping and I felt useless and it sucked, it really did. And then just coming home, I went, like I said, last night I didn't get to sleep at all. So I kind of slept. <gasps> Most of today, so that was fun. But it was like, also with that in my brain where there was a lack of sleep and I ended up feeling more crap than ever with today it was not really freaking nice to have including as well like I said with my parents when just trying to talk to them and it was just I'm basically after the events today I just did not want to bother with talking with anyone on the outside world I just wanted to stay inside curl up and just try it put my thought <sighs> put my thoughts together and just try and recover. It's kind of 50% work-ish. Yeah. But I know definitely tomorrow I'm gonna call my parents and I gotta go over to the bank so I can take money out for this month's rent for this apartment. So at least that could be sorted. And so a couple of things. And the good thing is I will be outdoors. I will be walking around most of the day, so that's gonna be interesting. Because technically, uh, we can't use the car. I mean, mainly from the DMV, they said that the car, because Chris is now gonna be on a temporary license, that it's only just for the purpose for him for work. And the thing is, because he's working at home, it's kind of put it in a position where it's like, yep, it's staying where the freak it is. So, oh, the weather's, well, not the weather, but the temperature's risen because it's raining and not snowing. <laughs> so, technically, it's uh, I'm calling around some colleagues just to see if I can carpool for a couple of days for this work week to see what we can do. I, like I said, I still don't know. Oh, God, yeah. And like I said, I've downloaded Lyft. So if it comes to it, I will be using that app. I'll call a cab then for Friday shift then, just to say, hey, uh, that's gonna be interesting. Saturday and Sunday though, my colleague Wine said she'd be more than happy to give me a lift. And we get along, we get on like a house on fire, which whenever management sees our schedule, then it's like, yeah, we need to put extra fire extinguishers out because those two are working, and the saying is, like, they get on with the house on fire. Yeah, I'm trying to be funny at the time, I guess, but I'm like, I, I got a cup of tea as well. So, yeah. It's decaf, so there's that. Uh, anyway, I'm going to call it a night, try to relax, get some sleep. Hi. See how I feel in the morning. Hopefully I would have mentally recovered a little bit but not like hopefully it will be a little bit not like it's gonna be like I am fully recovered I am mentally well and I am good as hell yay but hopefully enough so I could just deal with today and just get on with it and uh, just see how it goes <laughs> that's gonna be fun but uh, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed, even though I was like a bag of wanks today. And if you have, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spank new day. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better than the rest. So until then, take it easy, guys.